Hello, my Hi. name. Hi, Diana. Um, I'm Professor Kreitziger. Hi. How are you today? Good. How about you? Great. Um, I'm here to do a neuro exam and then a musculoskeletal exam. Okay. Um, so, can you tell me your name and your date of birth? I'm Diana, May 1st, 1981. Okay, great. Um, and just a couple of quick questions for you. Um, do you have any numbness or tingling anywhere in your body? No. Okay. And do you have any headaches? No. No. Okay. And you sleep okay at night? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, great. So, um, like I said, I'm going to do a neuro exam. So I have a bunch of questions I'm going to ask you. Uh, first of all, I will point out, um, you know, all the things that I'm noticing about you right now, like um, your uh, your mood is appropriate. So you're, you know, you're calm, you're relaxed, and you're, you know, not inappropriately laughing or crying or anything like that. You're. Um, your affect is appropriate, and I see that your hygiene is appropriate, you're, uh, you don't have any body odor or anything like that. Um, you're totally dressed appropriate for our situation, which is, you know, working in the nursing lab. So um, that's all great. And um, the other thing I notice is that your voice is, I should say, appropriate, again, so you're answering my questions okay, you're not stuttering, you're not tripping over your words, nothing slurred, anything like that. So I'll get into my questions. Um, first of all, I'm going to give you a series of three unrelated words, and I'd like you to repeat them after me. Okay, river, nation, finger. River, nation, finger. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to ask you to recall those a little bit later. So tuck them in the back of your brain. Then. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm going to give you five numbers, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Can you repeat those? Two, four, six, eight, ten. And can you say them backwards? Ten, eight, six, four, two. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of questions. Um, actually statements. Um, so tell me what does this phrase mean to you? A stitch in time will save nine. If I fix the small tear I wouldn't have to do a bigger for uh, fix a small tear I wouldn't have to fix a bigger problem. Okay. All right. Um, and I'm going to test your judgment um, by asking you, so if you locked your keys in your car, what would you do? I would call someone for help. Okay. And um, so I'm going to have you complete a phrase for me. A bird is to the air as a fish is to water. Okay. And um, tell me what holiday we had recently. Halloween. Okay, great. And um, lastly, what were those three words I asked you to remember? River, nation, finger. Okay, nice. So your memory, your judgment, um, and all that is intact. And one last question, actually, before I forget, is um, tell me what brings you here today. Um, I'm here for blood work. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we'll get to that later. Okay. <laughs> um, so just testing, uh, like, your, your knowledge of your condition. Okay. So next, I'm going to test your cranial nerves. So I'm going to do them all in kind of a, a clump. Okay. And if you, um, you know, if you kind of bunch them up, it, they go pretty quickly to test. So first of all, I'm going to test your olfactory nerve. So I'm going to have you close your eyes, and um, that's a sensory nerve. It's a sense of smell. So close your eyes, and can you identify this smell for me? Peppermint. Okay, great. And um, your optic nerve, uh, test your vision. So I'm just going to have you uh, read something off of here for me. That's another sensory nerve. Knowledge and insight. Ask client how to, how much they know about their condition. Oh, and I already did that. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Um, so three, four, and six, I'm going to do all together. So I'm going to have you take a look at my finger without moving your head. I just track your eyes along with my finger as it moves in kind of an each shape. Okay, so your eyes are moving smoothly through all the cardinal directions, so I just tested cranial nerves three, four, and six together, and those are all motor nerves. So next I'm going to do the trigeminal nerve, and uh, with my other cotton ball here that doesn't have peppermint on it, I'm going to have you close your eyes and identify where you're feeling this. Left forehead. Okay. Left cheek. Right cheek. Right chin area. Okay. Left chin area. Okay, so it looks like the sensory portion of your trigeminal nerve is okay. So uh, five and seven, the motor portions, I'm going to do together. So look at me, smile, yeah, um, puff your cheeks out. Great. Okay, so motor five and seven look pretty good. Auditory, um, your hearing is intact. You're answering my questions, so that one's okay. Um, Eleven, I do a little bit separately. So that's a, a motor one. I'm going to have you shrug your shoulders against my hands. Okay. And then uh, cranial nerves nine, ten, and twelve. I'm going to kind of do together. Um, so for number nine, it also does some taste. So um, have you had any changes in your sense of taste at all? No. Okay. Um, nine also does um, your gag reflex. So I'm just going to put this tongue depressor in your mouth, and um, I'm going to have you say, uh, 
Oh, um, okay, so your palate raises and you do have an intact gag reflex. I could see that. And then for number 12, I'm going to also have you stick your tongue out and move your tongue side to side. Great. Okay, so that's a motor one. So great. So it looks like your sensory, uh, excuse me, so your cranial nerves are intact. Uh, next of all, what I'm going to have you do is stand up. I'm going to take a look at your balance. I'm going to do the Romberg test. So just close your eyes. <coughs> and I'm, I've got you braced here. So I'm just checking to see if you're swaying from side to side at all. I'll do that for about five seconds. And it looks like your balance is okay on uh, on both feet. So I'm going to have you lift one leg. right now so okay. remember how we talked about doing the Achilles with you like with your knee on the on the bed so that we could hopefully get that um, okay good and can I do the other one so I'm looking you know to make sure that the reflexes are are equal on both sides okay good and um, I'll have you have a seat because I know your your feet are going to dangle I'm going to do them from the bottom off okay okay so I'll do let me know if this hurts or anything okay And remember, we're grading our reflexes on a zero to four. I'll get the right spot here. There we go. Okay, and I'll do your arms. So I'm going to do your tricep right here. Feel for your. You got your arm nice and limp. and they're, um, they're the same bilaterally and stuff. Um, so make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, so I've got um, a Q-tip that I kind of fluffed out a little bit here. So if you hold out your hand, um, actually the palm. So what I'm going to do is uh, touch you in various places on your arms and legs. Okay, so when I do this, it's a sharp touch. And when I do this, it's a soft touch. So let me know when you feel it and where. Okay, okay I'm going to have you close your eyes again. Soft above top. Top of what? My left hand. Okay. Hard on my right hand. Soft on my right shin. Soft on my left shin. Okay, good. So it looks like your um, your motor function's intact, you know, bilaterally, up and down. Um, let me think. I don't want to miss anything. Um, can you squeeze my hands? Great. And then um, I'm going to have you put your arms up. Nope. Up. Oh, like this. Okay. So pull against me. Push against me. And... Um, push up against me and push down. Good. All right, and I'm going to gel after that. So, um, upper and lower um, smooth movements. Okay, so I'm going to have you repeat that for me, basically. Put your arms out and touch your nose. Okay, touch your nose. Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Okay, so nice and smooth. And the other thing I'm going to have you do, so to test your lower body uh, coordination, is take your heel. And do this all the way up. down. Uh, no, you can do it sitting. Actually, that's that's fine. So I'm going to have you um, hold your arms out, and we'll do some movements together. So just okay. follow my lead. Okay. So flexion, extension, hyperextension, a abduction, adduction, internal rotation external rotation, uh, dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, eversion, and inversion. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, so just a few um, range of motion things. So a little bit more than we did before because this is the uh, musculoskeletal portion. So go like this. Okay. And pull against me. Push against me. And your shoulders shrug against my hands. Great. And uh, push. Oh, this was hard. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. So that's just your hip. Uh, so leg function, uh, push against me, pull against me, and push up, and push down. Great. So it looks like everything's intact. Um, I do have to ask you if you have any joint tenderness or... Um